So beautiful people, I'm going to sand the walls down really quickly. It shouldn't take too long, but that's the first step. And then once they're sanded, I'm going to wipe them down and then I can start priming. I'm not saying I'm gonna do it all today, <laughs> but I'm saying I'm gonna start. <laughs> Let's get to it. Beautiful people, I mentioned before that painting is not my favorite thing to do. Painting walls is not my favorite thing to do. But I love how painting takes, I mean, it just transforms a space, okay? It transforms a space. So I am going to sand down these walls, which took about, I want to say it took about an hour, maybe, maybe an hour and a half. And... Ayana's best friend, Nakwea, wanted to help, so she's in here helping me a little bit, which was super nice. Thank you, Nakwea. Thank you. But yeah, so it took me like an hour, maybe two hours to sand it because I, the only thing with this room is that I cannot move everything out of this room. There's nowhere to put it. So what I have to do is move things around in the room so that I can access the walls like I need to. So that takes a little bit of time as well. And the ceilings are high, so I have to get on the ladder to get, you know, get to the top of the ceilings. So that is what I am doing. But it did take a little bit of time. We smoothed out the walls. I was able to smooth out everything. And then you have to go back over it and wipe it off because there is a ton, a ton, ton of dust, which you'll see momentarily. So I had to clean all of that up. Now, I will say that I should have used my shop vac. That's a different story. I should have used my shop vac, but that's okay. <laughs> it, it is what it is. It's done now. But yeah, I'm going to get this all sanded. I'm going to show you what it looks like. All the sand, all the dust and everything that needs to be cleaned up. And then I'm going to prime. So I did get the primer and the paint from Home Depot. I'll tell you, I'll leave everything down in the description box for you. The paint color, I got a creamy white that I'm going to put on the walls because I wanted something, I didn't want like a bright, like pure white on the walls. I want a creamy white on the walls and it looks so beautiful. So I did one coat of the creamy white and then I am going to do another coat as well. So. It's going to be two coats of white and then I'm going to put the accent colors on the wall. Now I'm prepared to oh, love out loud since we ain't going over so tonight. But I never let them catch me No, I never let them claim me Wild thing, try to tame me But you got my mood on sunshine Let's take a trip Souls on big smile Let's get this lake Stars are in line I'm supposed to lay with me in the moonlight I wanna be bold with it Don't care who we told about it Wow, baby, gotta hold on it Don't let love unfold tonight They'll be calling us gold no Of this dust from sanding is this is only the side of the wall this is only this side of the wall guys I'm not even done so I had to go around the entire room and get all of the dust up this is one side of the wall that is crazy now I may have used too much spackle I don't think I did I think but I may have you know what I mean I wanted to make sure that the walls were really 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 smooth and back to the way they're supposed to look so let me show you right here. Look at all of this dust on the walls. 
see that that's from sanding so after I sanded everything I took a wet cloth and I went around and wiped off the walls so that I can get all of that off before I start painting now there are two spots that I had to add some more spackle to I let that dry overnight and then I went back and sanded that the next day and then I started to prime and like I said the priming I want to say the priming took maybe two hours. I'm going to time it. I need to time it for you guys next time. And that's only because, like I said, there's a ton of stuff in their room and I am getting rid of, like I said, I'm getting rid of the bids. I'm getting rid of basically everything in here except for the dressers. I'm keeping everything. Um, I'm just, I'm keeping the dressers, but the rest of the stuff I'm getting rid of. So anyway, I am getting up the dust, wiping off the walls, and then we're going to prime. I wanted to do a primer on the walls because the walls are a dark color. So I wanted to, you know, of course we put the spackle and stuff on the wall. So I wanted to make sure that the primer was on top of that before I added the paint. Now the paint, the creamy white that I got from Home Depot does have primer built into it, but I wanted to have a separate primer first and then do the paint. And I think that's just much better. I've done the paint and primer before and I feel like excuse me, I feel like you need multiple, multiple coats with the primer first and then the paint. It just, I don't know, I can, I can see a difference. It looked so much better. You're going to see at the end with the one coat of paint on there, how it just, oh, it's just beautiful, guys. It's beautiful. I went in there and I looked in the room this morning and it looks even better now that it's dry. So now I'm going to go and put the second coat of paint on and let that dry. And then I can, like I said, do the accent colors. I know it's going to look amazing. I'm not worried about the ceiling because you can't tell. But when they were painting this green, there was a lot of, they rolled all the way up to the ceiling. So there was a lot of little green marks on the ceiling. So I just used the paint to go over that as well. And that's why I'm not too worried about the ceiling because I am doing white paint. So you really can't tell. But it did cover up the green paint that was on the ceiling from them just rolling and, you know, keeping it moving. So, like I said, this is the primer. I definitely recommend it. Definitely recommend you prime before you paint. I am also going to paint the trim and the baseboards and everything as well. That's going to be separate. First, I wanted to get the walls done because... Getting up and down the ladder with the ceiling is the more time consuming piece of it. But nonetheless, the primer, I bought a two gallon quart of primer that was $30. And then the paint, I bought a gallon of paint, which was $34. And then two quarts of paint, which was $17. So after that, I came back the next day and I did some more priming. And that finished it up. I let that dry and then I'm going to come back and do the paint. I don't know if this is real or fantasy. Somewhere in between.
coat of primer on it. One coat of primer. Okay. The only problem is that I have to move everything around. Now their new bids are supposed to be delivered this weekend. And so I need to take these bids down. I don't wanna take them down yet. Um, I need to go to Home Depot to get the paint colors, plural. But yeah, so we have one coat of paint, one coat of primer. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna do another coat of primer. I might do two coats of primer and then go get the paint. No more. So what I like to do when I am painting is I like to cut out everything. So that is what I'm doing right now. I'm cutting out the walls so that I can go back in and just paint. I am using an 18 inch roller, which is a, a larger roller. You'll see that instead of the standard. I think the standard is 12 inches, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm using an 18 inch, which will cover a lot more on the wall. It's a bit a bit bigger, which I definitely recommend if you if you want to basically <laughs> i've been painting i've painted so much i painted the kitchen the living room the dining room chris's room london's room yana's room the twins room like and next i'm painting the hallway like i do a lot of painting so that's why i like the 18 inch roller that's what i'm using and yeah i'm going to like i said go around the entire room and do one coat of paint as you can see the paint goes on so nicely guys it is so beautiful it's a creamy white I'm gonna give you the name of the paint like I said down below I have it um, but I'm gonna put it in the description box for you but it's a creamy white and I love it I absolutely love it now you see me moving their closet system here and that is why I didn't have it anchored to the wall because I didn't know where I wanted to actually put it permanently so I, it wasn't um, anchored to the wall so I am just if I had little ones like you know two three for that would be different. The twins, I'm not worried about them knocking over the wall, the closet or anything like that. So that's why I wasn't too worried about it. So here I am just cutting out the wall and then I'm going to go back and paint it. And I'm going to do that all around the room, completely around the room. So that is what takes the most time, getting up and down off of the ladder and painting and getting this done. But again, I absolutely love the color. You can't tell where I added the spackle. The room looks so nice. I am also going to caulk some of the spaces that need a little bit of filling in it. When it comes to like the um, baseboards and everything, I'm going to caulk that. And that'll probably be in the next video. But yeah, we're just getting this room together. And I love, I love the white guys. But wait till you see, wait till you see the accent colors. When I see other couples on YouTube doing their projects and everything, I'm like, dang, I really wish I had some help. I really wish, you know, I don't, Ayana, of course, will help me. She loves helping. Ayana's been working a lot, so I don't want to bother her. She comes home um, fairly late, like, you know, she comes home fairly late. So, of course, I'm not going to bother her. Chris is doing football. London is doing her dance, you know. Uh, my oldest daughter, she has a life. And the twins are 10, okay? So I don't really have anybody that can help me. And sometimes it's very draining. This is very draining. But I wish, now let me, let me state this. I am enjoying my single season, okay? But I wish, even if it was a brother or a nephew or a cousin, you know, that could come over and help, that would be amazing. I don't have that, so it's just me. So I have to do this. I, I'm just taking my time and doing this. I'm trying not to burn myself out, guys. I'm trying not to burn myself out. But, 
yeah, it, it takes time. It takes time and it takes money. That's a whole uh, another issue. You know what I mean? Like everything is super expensive, but I'm getting it together. And I do appreciate y'all so, so much for sticking with me and, you know, all of your beautiful, sweet, kind comments and your encouragement. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. I'm getting their room together and it's going to stay like this. However, I decorate it, however, I design it for a couple years. Okay. Because this is a lot of work. This is a lot of work, <laughs> but I'm excited for them. They're so excited. And that's all I can really hope for, to be honest with you. That's all I can hope for. So let's finish painting. I, guys, look, I am loving it. I am loving it so, so much. I'm so glad that green was gone. When I first toured the house, I, I told myself I wanted to paint the room, but I tried to make over their room and incorporate the green so that I didn't have to paint it, which I don't know why I did that because I knew I didn't really like it. I really didn't like it. But I liked it enough to, you know, to finish it out. But I always wanted the green gone, guys. I always wanted the green gone. The green is not bad. I think it'll be nice for a boy's room. It's not a bad color. I just didn't want it in their space. So I'm loving this. I am loving it. And everything is coming together. Now I have to put together bids and stuff, which I might see if I can get somebody from TaskRabbit to come and put those together. I'm trying to delegate as much as I can, like, you know, outsource if I can, <laughs> because it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. So anyway, tell me in the comments below what you think the two accent colors are. The twins are so excited about having their room. You know what they keep asking me for? <laughs> they keep asking for a swinging chair like the one that's in London's room and the one that's on the porch. They want one of those chairs so bad. And I just don't know if I'm going to have the space to incorporate that in their, in their room. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But they want one so bad. And I'm like... <laughs> Do y'all really need this chair? Do y'all really need this chair, guys? Really? And I don't want to get one. I can't I can't fit two in here, of course. I don't want to get one because, oh, I was sitting here first. No, I was sitting here. No. Oh my gosh. You know how kids are. You know how twins are. You know how siblings are, put it that way. Siblings. So we'll see. But they keep asking me about that swinging chair. That's all they keep asking about. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to just just get it done basically i'm gonna have to get it it oh guys let me know let me know what y'all think should i get it or should i not get it i don't know i don't know but they really keep asking for it so i feel bad if i don't get it because that's that's what they're looking forward to So as I painted, I did have to go back and cut in around the window and the ceiling. And you'll see me do that momentarily because I was just trying to get the paint on the wall for the most part. Usually, like I was saying, I like to cut in first and then go back. But again, this is white, so it's not a big deal. If it was a different color, like a purple or blue, or, you know, a darker color, then I would have paint. I would have cut in first so that. You know, that'll, that would be done. We wouldn't have any issues at all. So I am going to also, like I said, do the trim, the window trim and everything. That's going to be in an upcoming video. First thing I wanted to do is get the walls painted. And I am going to go over and do a second coat on the walls. I'm just going I let them dry completely. And then I'm going to go back in and paint another coat. I, I'm just... I'm just amazed. I love paint. I think it's amazing. It lets you do so much. It lets you be creative, guys. If you choose a paint color and you don't like it, let it dry. 
and go choose another one. It's just paint. Now I know this can be time consuming and it is very, it's a very manual labor type of thing, but again, it's just paint. So you could always change it up, which I absolutely love guys. Don't be afraid to test and try different things out so that you can see what you like and what you don't like. And yeah, just, just try it. Just try it. Let your inner child go and have fun with it. So now that I'm almost done with this, I'm going to show you all how the room is looking. And then we're going to start the accent colors once I do another coat of paint, which will be in another video. Is the moonlight that makes me wonder why we separated or am I faded? You shine so bright, it's an understatement. Single is overrated. If you get so close, my baby, might let you take me back. people I got the first coat of paint on the walls so we got one coat of primer one coat of paint and I'm gonna remove those shoes put them in a band paint that as well that can actually come down I do see the screws but I like it up there so we're gonna leave it for now but yeah I want to take one of the beds down and stuff we'll see the beds get delivered in two days so but yeah this is where we're at right now Take me back, baby, 2020. 2020. You need some patience. 